How to never waste your time again. Yesterday, I was having a discussion with one of my friends about how to save money. He has great difficulty saving money, but that's not the case with me. And the difference is that I have put myself in a situation where it's technically impossible to spend everything I earn, while he has an open door and opportunity to think about saving or not saving. A similar thing happens with our time. Some people are not productive because they have an open door. They have the opportunity to decide whether or not to invest or waste their time. So, it's super easy to enjoy the moment by wasting some time. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you about 5 tips that will help you to never waste time again in your life. If you are new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Know where your time goes. I have an application on my phone that reports to me every Monday the number of hours I spent with my phone last week. When I first started getting this report, I wanted to disbelieve it because I couldn't believe that I was spending such hours on my phone every week. But since the guy who is inside the app doesn't know me in person, he's probably just telling me the ugly truth. So I sat down to think about it. If I am spending this amount of time on my phone every week, what am I doing? Yes, I use my phone a whole lot to track what is going on with my business, but that cannot be the entire story. Then I discovered that I spent too much time watching the news about Trump's drama, in part because I once liked him. I also wasted time on a few things. Knowing where my time goes and how much hours go into such an area makes me more conscious about how I use my time. And I think this is the first thing you can do to stop wasting your precious time. I think there are a couple of mobile applications out there that can help you to track how many hours you spend on your phone. Since the phone is the biggest part of our day, this might be the best place to start. Know what time means. This probably should be the first thing to talk about. But you see, I just registered for an online course which is teaching me how to be a better writer. And one of the things I learned is that I can write the script for this video the way I want to, even if it doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's get serious. You see, one of the great blessings of God for me is that I knew the importance of time early in my life. Since when I was around 14, I understood that time is the greatest asset in life. So, I'm always careful how my time goes. That's probably one of the reasons why I have no hobbies or no reasonable social life. Well, while you might have some hobbies and a good social life, whatever that means to you, you must also understand the importance of time in our life. I love to refer to Earl Nightingale's quote, which goes something like, If you invest one hour of your day to study a field, you'll become a national expert in five years. In other words, the difference between the people who become successful in their field and others might be the difference between the person who spends one hour to study and the person who spends one hour on social media. I think it was Mark Twain who said, Time is what life is made up of. Time is the most important asset in life. Time is the only thing you cannot regain when lost. If you understand that your life is nothing but the addition of some seconds and minutes, you'll be more careful the way you waste those seconds. Know your top three priorities. I think it was this morning or yesterday that I asked myself the most frequent personal question, what is the most important task in my company? This is the question I have asked myself again and again, and the question is very simple. I want to do what is important with my time, and I have to know my top priorities, because if I don't know the top three most important things for me, I will just wake up each day to look for whatever is available to do. You don't have to run a company to use this formula. Simply ask yourself, what are the three most important things I need to achieve this year, this month, or today? Knowing the three most important things for you to achieve will clear your mind of so many other good things that seem to be worthwhile. You don't want to spend your time doing what is good or reasonable. You want to spend your time doing what is important to your bottom line, whatever that means to you. Take care of your morning. When people think about time management, they might be tempted to think that it's about punishing yourself not to enjoy life or entertainment. But that doesn't seem to be the case with me. Up till today, I still waste time on some pieces of stuff. But there's a simple rule. 
I will sacrifice my finger to follow, and that is, take care of your morning. This rule works for me because morning is the best time of the day. Because I am lazy, I usually get tired in the afternoon. So what I do is to sacrifice anything to make diligent use of my morning. And I think this can help you too. It's simple. If you want to waste time, waste the less important part of your day. Even if you want to watch entertainment, news, or scroll through social media like a lonely orphan, do it when the day is old. Like everything, the hours in our days aren't the same. Some hours are worth more than others. So try as much as you can to never waste a second out of the most precious hours. Then you can waste any part of the less important hours. Have your phone in silence. I am a writer, and writing is one of the three most important tasks I have on my normal day. Because of this, I either put my phone in silence while writing or ignore calls, messages, or notifications, except they have to do with something I know is urgent. You'll do well with your life if you create for yourself certain hours in the day when you're inside the rock. This means that these hours are dedicated to your most important task, and you can afford to allow some useless social media notification, SMS or call to distract you. It might also be a good idea to have your social media notification in perpetual silence. I use WhatsApp and even if a million people send me messages, I won't hear anything about them until I open the WhatsApp app. This way, you have control over your time and life. Waste Sundays Again, a part of good time management skill is to know when to waste time. With what I understand about myself, it seems I need to waste a day in the week to let other days be effective. I think everyone needs a day off, or something like that. So, while you might decide to make every minute of your day count, if you want to do that every day of your life, you'll get to a point where you will stop being productive or being creative or both. You might want to have six days of every minute counts and one day of nothing matters. The summary of this video is simple. Life is time. And for anyone to get ahead in life, you have to be able to manage your time. Know what your top priorities are so that you'll spend your time doing what is truly important. Take care of your morning because it is the best time of the day. Know the importance of time, so you'll be careful the way you waste it. Be accountable. Know where your time goes, so you will be conscious of those channels. Waste one day of the week, so that you can be creative and productive in other days. Learn to put your phone in silence when doing your most important task. Thanks for watching our videos.